I'm going to wait a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Another cup? You like? Mm hmm. Oh. Yes, I am. Oh, there you are. I didn't, he didn't pop up for a while then. Hmm. Got you now. You got me now? Mm hmm. It's a week. Mm -hmm. What day is today? Is today Wednesday? Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Hey! Thanks for joining us uh, Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. Yes. All day today. Mm. Wednesday. Yes. Are you going to make the drink? I'm going to make a drink. <laughs> so I, I got my uh, gorgeous mm. wife here, Jennifer. She's going to help with the comments and taste my amazing food I'm going to make tonight. We're doing another HelloFresh meal. We'll talk a little bit about the, the type of meals, the balsamic and fig beef tenderloin. Check that out. That looks so good. That looks amazing. I hope it turned out like Very that. Very good. But as, uh, as we always do with these uh, Journey with Jerry meal nights, uh, we're going to make another drink tonight. Mm -hmm. We're still in this uh, home bar basics. Cocktails at Home Anytime by Victoria Ferguson. She owns uh, the Modern Home Bar and a little shop, little store there in Alexandria, Virginia, right outside of DC called The Hour. It's got a bunch of vintage old bar vintage bar. barware stuff. It's really cool. Yeah. But we've done a lot of these uh, drinks out of this book and I'm learning quite a bit of stuff. So tonight we're doing the mint julep. Now, we don't have julep glasses. No. I had no place to really go and get a julep glass today <laughs> either. So we're going to kind of put it in a different glass. But we're going to make the drink. We're going to make the drink. I've never had one. This will be my first time. I've never had a mint julep. Mm -hmm. But you know, the mint julep belongs in a category of smashed cocktails. Okay. Though it does not contain fruit, it does contain or it does have all the other smash elements. Bourbon, sugar, water, crushed or shaved ice, and fresh mint. I had no idea there was a category. Me? Did you know there was a category? Didn't know. I had no idea there was a category. So we're gonna start off with our mint, and tonight we're using um, honey syrup. So a mint julep uses honey syrup. We make our own. It, we we make it with uh, one to one. Oh, Ohio River Girl loves mint juleps. Well, I can't wait to try it. Yeah, this will be the first time we've had it. First time I've Did that made it. Your camera? You bumped my my camera there. But the honey syrup, we, we actually make our own honey syrup, one to one ratio. I don't know if that's the proper thing, but we have found that it's just sweet enough, not too sweet to, you know, to keep us on track of that low carb meal eating. So we're gonna start off with, um, now I'm making two of them in my, my um, uh, cup here to muddle. Each drink contains two ounces of bourbon, half an ounce of honey syrup and four to six mint leaves. So I'm gonna double that. Okay. I'm gonna double that. So I'm gonna take from our Trader Joe's trip from the weekend. Mm -hmm. That smells good. You wanna mm -hmm. smell that? It smells good. It smells good, it smells doesn't like it? Mint. It's a mint. <laughs> I don't know, is this a bush? Mint flower? Mint? <laughs> what, what do you call this? Drink. Okay, I'm gonna mix the drink. So it takes four to six mints. I'm gonna pull five for each of our drinks. Thank you. We got another shout out to our kitchen. Hey, we're gonna go one, two, three, four. He follows directions, guys. He can't just grab a bunch and. I, I follow. <laughs> wait a second. You, you've been on my videos before. I follow directions. That's what I do. Oh. One, two, three. Four, five. There we go. All right. So we're making two drinks out of this one muddler cup. So each drink contains a half an ounce of the honey syrup. So I'm going to go the full ounce. So we're going to go the full ounce of the honey syrup. There we go. 
Tonight, I'm, uh, we're using, um, you know, we have a lot of favorite whiskeys, but I think one of our most favorite ones comes from a uh, local distillery. Mm -hmm. What, 20 minutes from here? Yeah. 20 minutes from here. The uh, 1233 Distillery up there in uh, Little River, and uh, they've got some decent products. Ooh. Oh, yes. I know what you're getting ready to say. <laughs> it's out. What is that? Uh, Drunken Pumpkins Drunken Pumpkins. Ooh. <laughs> we gotta, gotta get, get us some. Um, gotta get us some. Um, all right, so I'm muddling this in here. So it says we're going to muddle the mint leaves with the honey syrup in the bottom of the julep or Jefferson cup. I'm muddling in a little tin cup here, stainless steel. We're going to wipe the inside of the cup with muddled leaves. So our new glass that we're going to pour this into, I'm going to wipe it in there with a, a mint leaf. Um, and then I'm going to add to this muddler cup our bourbon and ice. Get it all chilled. And because we don't like little floaters, <laughs> little, little floaters, it bothers me. It's we're gonna texture thing. We're gonna we're gonna strain it. We're gonna strain it with this. This. Okay. Let me get the glass. Look at this. We're gonna oh, use some I neat little glass. Use little pink ones. Well, this I think is gonna no. work out just fine. Okay. So let's add. Oh, uh, Big Papa's here. Big Papa's in the house. Um, he says we down for this meal. Oh, look. <laughs> we down for this meal. Okay, so each each drink contains two ounces of bourbon. So I'm going to go, because I'm making two drinks, I'm going to go two ounces twice. You okay with that? Two ounces twice? Two for two? Goodness, I should have taken a nap this afternoon. That pool wiped me out. I took a nap while I was at work today. Oh, is your boss on? My boss is the one that read me lullabies <laughs> to put me to sleep. Read you lullabies. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's add the ice. Big Papa says remove the noodle board. Oh, that's right. We got our oven up. Why do you keep doing that? Because this is like an every night I, thing. I don't, I don't know. It's just one of those things that... that Happened. I didn't know so, the oven was on. Okay, so we're gonna mix the mint and the honey syrup and the bourbon. Now we're not whipping it like scrambled eggs or whipped cream. Is it whipped cream? Do you whip cream to make whipped cream? <laughs> yeah, you do. You you yeah, whip you it to make. Yeah, you do. Or how about what's that? What's that Willow Smith song? I don't. Please don't. Okay, can you stop? No? no. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna make this really nice and cold. So we're just gonna just gonna let the bar spoon do the work for us. That's all we're doing. We're gonna let the bar spoon do the work for us. Look at that. That's it. That's all we're doing. I feel so, like a professional. Yeah, I'm not a professional. <laughs> okay? I'm not a bartender, I'm not a cook, I'm not a chef. I'm I, I work in an office. That's what I do. But I work out of my car. I work behind a computer, sometimes in an office. It is so good. I make my own whipping cream as well. Whipping cream? Mm -hmm. So you do whip the cream? Yes. I whip my hand back up. Okay. We're not bringing that back up anymore. No. Okay. All right, so, man, this is. Uh, big Papa has got a big head today. because He's saying you're like that because you're a Williams. What, whipping my hair back and forth? No. We, we, you gotta remember there's a delay in the comments and what they're oh. seeing. There's like oh. a 30 second delay from in okay. here to what they're seeing. So I'm gonna pour. Oh. This looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's bourbon. But then I gotta dress it up and make it look neat. Mm -hmm. Make it look neat, make it look nice. Because mm -hmm. I need to check that out. Aren't you fancy? I am fancy. You want to come around and taste it? <laughs> Guys, this is a mint julep. Thank you. Cheers. Mint julep. You know, one oh, of these days, that's, is very good. That's, that's pretty really good. good. Uh, who, who was it from Ohio? That, yeah, Ohio River Girl. Ohio River Girl? Yeah, that's good. Sure. That's real good. Yep. Mmm. Mmm, that's really good.
That is real good. I'm gonna set that up there because now we've got a big meal tonight. Oh, thank you. You said, look at your beautiful wife. Listen, one of these days, it will no longer be pool season and I will not be coming into the camera looking like a drowned rat. A drowned? A drowned rat. Rat. Yeah. What, what is that even? A drowned rat? <laughs> You know, I was just watching another couple of TikTok, and it's funny because she's from the South and he's from up North, and they're talking about different sayings that they don't say up North, we say down here. Is that one of those? He did not remember the noodle board. He had to be reminded, Brennan. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got the noodle board. Okay? We got our oven preheated because my directions say I got to preheat the oven 425 degrees. I've already been yelled at by multiple people about the noodle board. I skipped somebody's comments. Uh -oh. I didn't mean to. Okay. Let's get our let's get our food bag out. Where's my food bag? Oh, I didn't grab my food bag. Uh huh. See, someone else is from South Carolina and says the same thing. Drown rat. A drowned rat. Rainy day is 12.15 is in from Long Island and wants to know what you're making. All right, so tonight we just finished making a mint julep. First time we've ever made it. Let me tell you what, I highly recommend it. It is delicious. And oh, I did not see your comment. I'm sorry. We're Thank doing... you for the, the, somebody else admiring the pots and pans, right? Oh. Yeah. Amazon. So we're doing another HelloFresh meal tonight. Um, it's a uh, balsamic fig, balsamic and fig beef tenderloin. It looks really, really good. So we usually do these meals every week and sometimes we change up companies depending on what menus they offer. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the side effect to this is we're saving money. We are. We're saving, well, we're saving and money. Next week, we're going to be going back to the one that got us started on this. And that, that's Home Chef. Home Chef. And we're actually going to be getting more meals for less price. Oh. And usually their meals have bigger portion sizes as well. So. Nice. Yeah. Okay, look at this. I've got everything in the bag, including, what is this? Balsamic vinegar of Modena. <laughs> is that right? Did I pronounce that right? <laughs> Balsamic vinegar. Look how little teeny tiny bottle it is. See that? I love that you get just enough. It's almost like those little waste. Tabasco sauces you used to get in the MREs. Little teeny tiny bottle. Little teeny tiny little bottle. Oh, Isn't that cool? We got our figs. We got fig jam. Rainy days, it is enough food for two. We both are satisfied, which we, we've said wow. we've lost weight on this because he really had a hard time with portion control. And since we've been doing this, he's learned that he's satisfied, but he's not stuffed. All right. Uh, Brennan, it's nice to try new things. Don't wait until you're his age to try new things. No more so, mint julep for him. I know. I'm, I'm getting ready to take it away. So you know I follow directions. <laughs> Those of you that have been on here with us before, all three of you, I follow the directions. And right now my direction says I need to dice the potatoes. We're going to dice them in half inch pieces because we're getting ready to bowl those. You're getting, ready, right? you're getting ready to what? A bowl. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> Do we not bowl? <laughs> Put them in a pot of water. Bring them up to temperature and the water bowl. Is that not right? Okay. I've had too much coffee. So <laughs> I got my all purpose utility chef knife here. I'll make well, sure I, I keep thought all you, my I thought you got a new knife today. You're not using your new knife you got today? My new mm -hmm. knife? My new knife. <laughs> my new knife is a costume knife, it's a fake knife. It's a real fake knife. So we're gonna dice these potatoes up. <laughs> Brennan says it takes forever to boil water. <laughs> it, sometimes, yes. <laughs> it's it's not longer. the coffee, LOL is the drinky drink. <laughs> he might have had a little drinky drink before he had that drinky drink. 
I don't know what was in that cup that was in the pool. Uh, listen. Hmm. It ain't easy being me. <laughs> Your head looks really shiny tonight. Is it really <laughs> shiny? Okay, so I got my potatoes cut up. We're gonna put them in a bowl. No, not a bowl. I got them in a. <laughs> I have them in a bowl. We're gonna put them in a pot to boil. 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 <laughs> So we're gonna put them in a pot to boil. Okay, so here we go. Why can I not speak tonight? All right, so they <laughs> said soak that in. Now we gotta mince or grate the garlic. We have a little mincer thing, Majiggy, right? Uh, you had a recommendation, a little baby powder would help with that shine. <gasps> <gasps> That's all I need now, a bunch of little memes. <laughs> Jerry's bald head all over the place. <laughs> Alright, so I got a garlic. Look, this meal comes with a real garlic, what do you call these, cloves? You know what that is? Garlic cloves. See, I'm double checking. I want to make sure because I'm not a cook and I'm not a chef. But these meals are so easy. Even I'm not a cook I and I'm not a chef. Yeah, but you've, you've cooked for years. You know this stuff. I don't know this stuff. No, the difference is, is I don't follow directions. My okay. mama taught me to cook by eyeballing it and tasting it. <laughs> there is no recipes. Well, I... Smash and dice up. Yeah, it would have been easy if he just smashed it up, but he's learning. I follow directions. <laughs> he hasn't, you know what? He hasn't learned the smash trick because he doesn't like Rachel Ray. Why do you keep bringing up Rachel Ray? I'm telling you, she's Rachel. not returned any of my phone calls to be on her show, okay? Guys, I'm not a chef or a cook, okay? But I'm doing these videos because- Crispy 35 says the kitchen is great. You get to be a scientist. Yeah, I'm learning so much. Be careful so with your much. fingers, you got a warning. I, I'm, I'm working on it. I, I'm learning so much in doing these meals and this is why I'm doing these meals is because I am learning so much. I don't want any blood in my, you know, uh, I don't, my meal tonight. You know, we've been married 27 years and I didn't cook. Mm -mm. Not until just a few weeks ago. You also didn't eat. I also didn't eat. I only ate meat. Mm -hmm. Meat, potatoes, bread. I would basically have to cook two meals. One for me and the kids and one for you. Pasta, you know, that sort of stuff. And my pasta plates were pie plates, but don't tell anybody. All right, so strip rosemary leaves. No, half... Is that what that is? That's what that is. What do, you, what do you mean? That looks like something that grows in the backyard. Well, is that? Well, what is rosemary? It probably grows in Harley and Danny's backyard. Okay, it says though. strip rosemary leaves from the stems and mince the leaves until you have one teaspoon. Oh, I can smell the garlic. It's okay. so good. So I love rosemary too, Brendan. But I got to um, have... <laughs> Crispy 35 says congratulations on the 27 years. Still looking for one if you know one. <laughs> you know what? I would not want to be in the dating world right now. I have hey, friends no. that are trying to date and they'll get on these apps and then I have to hear about the horror stories. If Kimberly, if you're on, you know, I just don't know where you find the people. I would not want to date right now. Probably one of those mm. back alley bars. and. No, no. Kimberly uses the apps. Oh, the apps. Yeah. I don't know. All right. I really don't know how to pronounce your username, and I don't want to mess it up, but she's saying that rosemary is super potent. Is it super potent? Ooh. Like, is it going to burn my fingers when I cut into it? <laughs> I don't think that's or what she means. <laughs> should, I wear, should I wear a mask and a hazmat suit to cut it up? You know, this... Brussels sprouts look really good. It's Missy again. Okay, okay. I can't remember from night to night. I'm sorry. These little, look at that. It looks like a little head of cabbage. You see that? You know what? I'm going to get me a little notepad and uh -huh. I'm going to start taking notes of names so I don't do that again. Yeah, because these <laughs> lives don't save the comments. No, you can't. See, go back and look you at can't it later. go back and look at the comments. And then as people are commenting, that gets lost too fast and I can't go, okay, yes, I'm starting to think I enjoy the single life more. I do use a couple of apps though. How's that going for you? You know, after these, after the, the live videos play on TikTok, I download them and put them on my YouTube. 
That way I can go back Still and... Still single. <laughs> <laughs> that way I can go back and reference them. Okay. Guys, we're moving along. This is... We're moving along. We got a long night here with these this meal, but look at that. If mine turns out anywhere close to that. All right. Woo. Okay. Okay, I can't pronounce that username either, but they'll be over later for their plate. Go ahead. Come on over. You know, I really wish either I could see better or this was bigger because I can't even see the little pictures. Look at that. That looks like a that looks like leaves off of a Christmas tree. Does it not? This is rosemary. So Beck one zero one five says, "What will we be doing the Brussels?" He doesn't know what he's going to be doing the Brussels sprouts because he follows directions. So he hasn't yeah, got that far yet. I haven't got that far yet. <laughs> You're going to have to stick with us because <laughs> I I go by the directions. Missy says, "Smell the rosemary." I can smell it from wow, here. Wow, that's yeah, strong. I can, I can smell it from here. Wow, mm. that smells really good. Diamond Rose Four Eight says, "What you making today?" Tonight we're making. Balsamic and fig beef tenderloin from HelloFresh. Mm. I'm not a cook. And I'm not a chef. Things. I'm following directions. That's what I do. But I'm learning so much in the kitchen. It smells like tonight. I don't think I've ever used rosemary before. It smells. I have. It smells like a pine tree. I know. I've used it. I, I've never used it, I don't think. Cause and there's a big difference between fresh and dried. So. Yeah? Yeah. The dried isn't as uh, potent. potent. Man, that smells really good. I've got a lot of smells going on between the garlic, the mint, the bourbon, the rosemary. Yeah. So I need to I need to cut enough of this to make one teaspoon. So I, I think I'm gonna. Brennan says it's really good with steak and chicken. Yes, it is, and he's eating it a lot. He just doesn't realize it because What's that? when rosemary he... or steak yeah. and chicken. No, rosemary. Steak or chicken. Oh, Kelsey from work. She's just coming over for a plate. Hey. Plenty here. Plenty. I can't see the picture anyway. Kelsey is too tiny on the screen. Plenty. Okay, I'm <laughs> yeah, that rosemary looks like it's ready for some Xmas lights. It's that fresh. Hey, I'll take that. Can I get the tree out? No, Chris. No, don't <laughs> run up Christmas. You guys can't bring up Christmas in this house. I can barely keep her from putting stuff up until after the, uh, uh, Halloween. That I, I mean, I'm doing my best. She wants to keep it up all year long. You can't say that. That's a dirty word in this house. No, it's not. And you love all the lights. You get into it, Sam. Okay. You so, just want to complain about something, but you love it. I do want to complain about something. I can't complain about this. Anyway, uh, we, we bought this house like. It, almost three years ago and my niece was here our first Christmas and I was telling my husband I said I want it to look like a Hallmark Christmas movie house <sighs> I spent so much money on lights and stuff to my niece who was over here she's like okay you're done it's a Hallmark house no more you're done <laughs> you're done what's that TikTok sound he does not we do not keep the lights up all year long I put them up early I do start November 1st because it takes a while to get everything done but when Christmas is over, I'm ready yeah. for it to come down. Okay, so we've got our rosemary, we've got our Brussels sprouts, we've got our garlic, we've got our potatoes. We're gonna place the potatoes in a medium pot. We're going to- Oh, that's a good idea, Missy. I can change the directions each holiday. Make it a Valentine tree, an Easter tree look. I'm getting who's, suggestions from who's the- that? <laughs> Who's that's that? Missy. Can you, can you just delete these users? <laughs> All right, so I've got my potatoes. <laughs> I'm gonna put some salt in them because you gotta have a little bit of salt. Even though I'm not using pepper, they always travel in pairs. Fall tree too. This is true. Who's this saying true. stuff like this? No Christmas. Okay, they're all chiming no, in. So no you... Christmas. <laughs> they're all chiming in. <laughs> no, okay, they're... no Christmas. Uh, user with a bunch of numbers behind us says, where did you get the recipe? This is from HelloFresh. We do the pre-packaged meals that come in there. This Hello week Fresh. we're doing HelloFresh. So tonight is balsamic and fig beef tenderloin. And the nice thing about this, now keep in mind, I'm not a chef, I'm not a cook, mm -hmm. but I can follow directions. And, and they turn out amazing. <laughs> okay, so Brendan says that's only at the dinner table, not in the kitchen. Uh, five heap dog, nine, nine. See, I don't like reading these. I know I'm tearing them apart. He says, yes, salt and pepper are married. Uh, 
crispy 35 says that's how I season two, salt and pepper. And then Missy comes to 4th of July tree, Halloween tree. Karen, Karen, okay, yeah, because that's much, Karen is much better than user with all that stuff behind it. All right, so we're gonna do that. While potatoes cook, we're gonna drizzle in a medium pan over medium high heat. We're gonna add the panko season with salt and pepper, cook, strain, okay. So now we're going to put it in a medium pan. Sorry guys, I had to step away. Uh, none of my- Expensive, uh, no, for us we're actually, yeah he is ignoring the tree suggestion, I got that. No tree! <laughs> but um, Karen, for us we're actually saving money because we have no waste. So I'll just give you an example. This week we got five meals for the two of us, everything included, and it was $109. The last time I went to the grocery store with a meal plan in my head, I spent $250. And then I ended up throwing away a bunch of the produce. So for us, this is saving us money and we're losing weight and it's convenient because he's doing the cooking because he can follow directions. I gotta follow directions. Ooh. I'm excited because I've been doing these meals for a little while now and um, I'm learning more and more about the flavors and what goes, what doesn't go. And I'm uh, experiencing foods that I haven't experienced before, like Brussels sprouts. I've never eaten Brussels sprouts until I started cooking them. And then Jennifer started making them with, or she's always made them. But once I made them, then I started exploring the stuff that she made. I love Brussels sprouts and bacon. And, bacon. Mm -hmm. and the air fryer. Well, they're oh. but also in a just eat, yeah. Woo! Good stuff. Oh, uh, Brennan says my husband and I have to watch for experience because I'm about to start working like, uh oh. Karen loves Brussels sprouts too. They're, they're pretty good. Like yeah, so thinking. Crispy35 says he spends about $100 a week for just him and sometimes it doubles. So it might be something you can look into if it's just you. Look into some of these meals. Like, like I said, next week we're getting six meals from Home Chef. And usually the portion sizes with Home Chef are a little bit bigger. And it's only going to be $109. And I got, so each one of these have things that are called like gourmet meals or chef specials. And they're a little bit more. This meal tonight is a chef special. So we did pay about $5 extra. Chef Gigi says, do you cut them in half? or do you make them whole? Cut what in half, I'm sorry. The Brussels sprouts, we cut them in half because the directions told me I had to cut them in half. <laughs> now, when Jennifer makes them, she'll, she'll leave them whole no, a lot, no, sometimes. No, I like to chop them all chop up them all and up. mix it in with the bacon. But, but I have left them whole and wrapped them in the bacon. Wrapped them in the bacon, yeah. that's what I like, is when she wraps them in the bacon. <laughs> so, um, I just put the, uh, the the, Karen um, cuts hers too. Yeah, I, I usually cut mine all up because I want it to just a spoonful of all of it. So right now I'm on step three. What I'm doing is I'm toasting the panko. So I'm toasting the panko with a little salt and pepper with an old drizzle. I'm going to go mix that up for just a second. Yeah, Chef Gigi, yum. Everything is better with bacon. I'm just saying. And we're still losing weight. So Jerry is down, I don't even want to talk about it, but he's lost a lot more than me because, you know, men suck. But we're both down using these meal plans. So, just saying. And they're not really special meal plans. Like the ones we're doing, yeah. they're not, these aren't low carb because we're doing potatoes. Yeah, potatoes. So. Mm. Oh, I like green beans with bacon as well. Yes. You know what I've learned to like is the, everything's better bacon. <laughs> I've learned to like the the green beans. Healthy, and, yes, Karen. We're eating more healthy. And tomatoes. Yes. So in these meals, we'll do a lot of times. They'll send you like the little cherry tomatoes that he'll cut up, and we have the fresh green beans, which he didn't. Okay. Prior to these meals, the only green beans he were, would eat would be Del Monte. Like it had to be canned green beans. So just mushy. But I've been. This has broadened his palate. 
but he re we really do like the tomatoes and the and we put them on a sheet pan put them in there season them it's really good we had the other night we had um um cauliflower rice and roasted red was it roasted red peppers no i don't remember i don't remember roasted tomato maybe man i don't remember but it was <laughs> your sister says your meal sure looks better than the pancake she's having <laughs> you know what tracy when you come down in a little bit you'll have to star in the show and help him cook that'll be fun, that'll be <laughs> fun. yes he is a sweet doggy he's so old and he's mama's boy all right, so we're gonna go ahead and put our Brussels sprouts on a pan. It says I need to grease a pan, but you guys know me. I'm not gonna grease the pan. I've got these neat little silicone mats to keep things from getting all over the place. Work smarter, not harder. Work smarter, not harder, because I can just throw this in the dishwasher. <laughs> and pan's greased. There we go. So we're gonna toss the Brussels sprouts. We're gonna put some olive oil on them. Some olive oil on them. We're gonna put some salt and pepper on them. Uh, Kelsey says how fancy. Not really. And then we're gonna how toss. lazy, Kelsey? Toss? How lazy. Is that right? I'm tossing. Look at that. You are, look at you. I'm tossing. Look at you. Look at that. I need another bowl, and I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we got that. We're going to put them out on the cookie uh, sheet. Chef Gigi says, wait, what happened to your shoes? Did you have flip-flops? Are you shoeless? No, I the slides. I didn't. I, I don't <laughs> I wear slides in the pool and I just, you know. <laughs> Uh-oh, Crispy <laughs> says this may be a little too fancy for him now when the silicone pads come out. <laughs> right? Hey, Google, let's see if it listens to me the first time. Hey, Google, set a timer for 18 minutes. <laughs> Didn't listen to me. Hey Google, <laughs> set a timer for 18 minutes. Yes. Now, now you know how I feel because I get up in the morning and say, "Hey Google, I'm up." Mm. Hey, don't say that now. Okay, well oh. the lights already on. But I get up and say that, and Google doesn't have lights on. Okay. Uh, Kelsey says she doesn't listen to you either. Uh, you know, Kelsey. Be careful, it's in writing now. Alright. <laughs> so we're going to move our <laughs> Missy says now that's fancy. <laughs> we're gonna move our panko to a medium bowl. Ooh, that smells good. It does. The kitchen's smelling good. There's a lot of smells going on. I think I have a sneeze coming. Um not over the food. We got no sneeze guards. I love you, but not that much. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. Was that an audio track? <laughs> Cut. All right. So we got that. We got our. Ooh. It says to oh. transfer the panko to a medium bowl and wipe out the pan. Okay. So I'm gonna wipe out the pan. <laughs> Thank God for all the good smells, right? <laughs> Uh, Chef Gigi says you guys are way too much fun. We try to be, life that, is too short to be boring. There's probably that rosemary that got me. <laughs> um, all right, carefully transfer to bowl. Oh, so once the Brussels sprouts are cooked, um, I'm going to transfer those. You get Roy to bowl over. I'll get bowl over. <laughs> well, that's fine. That can bowl over. Okay. So You yell at me if that happens. I need to, I need to make sure that they're good. Uh, bring the bowl, cook until tender. So I need to check and see if they're tender. All right, we're gonna let that bowl, bowl. a little bit longer. Bowl. Um, you know what? Let's get our meat out. We need to get some of your fire department friends on here so we can all make fun of the way you talk. What? <laughs> Okay, so one of the things I've learned doing these meals. Lay a wooden spoon across the pan and it will not bowl over. You know what, I've heard that, Missy, but I've never tried it, so I don't know if that works. So we've got a wooden spoon. I've heard that tip, but I've not tried it. All right, so I've got. Look at that. 
I've learned doing these meals that you got to dry your meat. <laughs> um, Chef Gigi says her spoon usually catches fire. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't have a gas stove. You don't have a gas stove, so maybe we'll be all right here. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna pat dry the beef with paper towels, and then we're gonna season all over with salt and pepper. And then we're gonna use the pan that we used for the panko mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. cook the meat. George, come here. Come on. George, no drop. No. Come on. Okay. You're not so anything. No. We're gonna do this. <laughs> George has started the show, you've lost it. <laughs> He's just so handsome. <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna get that going, and then we're gonna season our meat with salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, remember a pair. Oh, so I just got a little note here that says Chef Gigi just became a top two viewer. I don't know what that yeah, means, I but hey. No <laughs> Listen, I, I don't know all these tricks and tips. Uh, and always try twelve is saying hello from Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix. Wow. Never been to Arizona. Never been to Arizona. Never been to Arizona. Mm -mm. I want to go further west. The furthest west we've been is what? Texas, Oklahoma. I've been over to New Mexico. All right, well, I haven't. I mean, I was there for a class. I haven't. I haven't. I, mean, I didn't get to see anything. I wasn't there as a tourist. I landed in the airport and they picked us up in a van. Mm. We probably looked really funny. Mm. There's about 12 of us mm. getting in this van. I've got this shallot here. I'm, I'm gonna. Chef Gigi says, "Okay, gotta go. Enjoy your meal. I'll try to come back again another time. Enjoy hey. you. See you later, Chef Gigi." All right. So. Hello, it's a Fred. Oh, uh, Upper Michigan, crispy thirty-five from Upper Michigan. Hey. You oh, been up there? Upper Michigan. Is that? <laughs> is that? Is that here? Uh, that's here, right? Uh, Jerry is originally a Midwesterner. Born in Iowa. He said exactly. So we've been to Michigan. Alright, Karen, we'll see you when you get back. We've been to Michigan quite a few times. Mm -hmm. My parents yes. were there uh, just outside of Detroit for a few years. Uh, a little town called Ypsilanti. Mm -hmm. See, I can pronounce it. Mm -hmm. But yet you couldn't say Gaucher. Oh, man. Guys, I ruined that. So we lived in Ocean Springs, Mississippi. We were Salvation Army officers, and we were stationed in Pascagoula. And there was this little town in between Ocean Springs and Pascagoula. And the first year we're there, he butchered it. He called it Godier. Gaucher. Gaucher. How hard's Gaucher? I didn't know. <laughs> Nobody told me. <laughs> Bless his heart. <laughs> Always try 12, wants to know what you're cooking. We are cooking a balsamic fig. and fig beef tenderloin from HelloFresh. Hello if you're just joining us, you missed out on an amazing cocktail that we've never had before, a, a mint julep. And uh, we were using, um, you know, even uh, when I whiskey. think about mint juleps, I still think about the TV series when I was a kid that was out like the, it was like a little five day series called North and South and they were drinking mint and juleps before the war hit. Right, sorry, that's where my mind goes when I think of mint juleps. So well, I, I was just saying that we're using a, a whiskey from one of our favorite distillers right up the road. Oh, uh, Chris, Crispy 35 doesn't know how to pronounce Noki. <laughs> Noki. <laughs> I, I had to get some, you know, I, I have to start getting on Google now. Okay, I'm not going to lie. Next week, next week, I'm not kidding you, and I, th I may be a little evil for this, but one of the meals I plan next week is just, I want to hear how he pronounces it. Or not plan, one of the ones I picked. <laughs> you see what I got to put up with? <laughs> just to get some laughs. She's choosing a meal that I'm not going to be able to pronounce. You know what? I'm going to go put the meat on the stove. Okay. Because I'm hungry. Mm. Mm. 
We're going to season this shot. Yeah, always try 12. We do these. He's doing these now. We just started last week, or he just started, and somehow I got volunteered to help. But we start with a cocktail. On Mondays, we do mocktails because sometimes we do too many cocktails on Sunday when the family's over and we're all together. But we always do a little cocktail to start before we have our meal going. So. Yeah, I do these... Um videos Monday through Friday. <laughs> I, um, All right, Crispy's taking your side. He says if you ever need a witness, he's here for you. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and then all the all the lives, I download and I put them on my uh, YouTube channel, Jerry at Jerry WFC. If uh, you ever want to go and catch up on some antics and well, let me just tell you how all this started. So we're in here cooking one night, and again, I'm sitting here just like I am now with a cocktail, and he's over there cooking, and our son's friends come in. And we have a 17-year-old son, and his friends are always here. In fact, they'll be here any minute now. But they come in and said, you know what? You should do TikTok Live, because you really don't know how to cook, but your food looks good. And that's how it all started. It's not so only, thank you, Nathan, for getting us all started. It not only looks good. It tastes good. It tastes good. It That's the important all part. All you got to do is what? Follow the directions. <laughs> That's all I got to do. Ooh, butter. We got oh, butter. Oh, you should have. Oh, ooh, coffee cup has bed work on it. Well, then I'm not going to show the coffee cup. How's that sound? All right, so... We got the, the potatoes are cooking, they're almost ready, okay? Potatoes are gonna cook, but I gotta reserve a half a cup of the potato cooking liquid. Have you ever made mashed potatoes? That's it always is, my thing. It is no longer water. It's called potato cooking liquid. Uh, Missy says you need to check your taters for tenderness. <laughs> They are almost done. Tater juice. <laughs> so, yeah. It's no longer water. No, it's, now it's tater it's, juice. It's called potato <laughs> cooking liquid. What the heck? That's right, Judy. It's because you're happy and your food gets happy. <laughs> so, I've got this. I'm going to... Pour a little bit of that, I guess, from my potatoes, my taters. I, I, you didn't answer my question. Well, have you ever know. made mashed potatoes? That's always been my thing. I, I don't think I've ever made mashed and potatoes. And the way you're making it is not exactly potato serum. <laughs> We're coming up with all kinds of names for this now. <laughs> okay, so I've got my butter. I need two tablespoons yeah, butter. of butter. Look at that. Butter's got little lines on it, mm -hmm. so I don't even have to measure. All I got to do is cut the line. <laughs> Okay, Isn't that cool. I kid you not. He just realized there were lines on the butter that gave me. Isn't that cool? He just realized this. I'm a happy, happy guy. <laughs> happy, happy guy. Happy. Okay, I gotta get these tits off. Okay. No more dancing. Right. <laughs> they're, 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 uh, you know what? They're not really, but they're really saying thank you for stop dancing. Woo! Oh, I need to save some of this potato juice. Is that what it says? Potato juice. Potato juice. So I need. Uh, potato oh, potato serum. That's we got awesome. potato juice. Okay. Potato serum. Well, how do I save the potatoes without the potatoes getting in there? You know what? Crispy thirty-five is he. He's on your side. He says always learning every day. No better way. <laughs> okay, so I'm. You finally have somebody taking your side. I like that. Mm -hmm. It's about time. <laughs> People know where the goods are. I've got there's potatoes. Still, there's still a potato in your potato juice. I got potatoes in my potato juice. <laughs> okay. So I got that. There was two potatoes in my potato juice. Okay, so I've got so I got a little bit more than, than Did it come with, you know, like heavy cream or aha? Uh -huh, cream cheese. This is sour cream. Sour cream. So I'm gonna melt two tablespoons of butter <coughs> in an in empty pot over medium heat, and we're gonna add the garlic. Whoa. Really? Oh, interesting. Wow. Okay. So, Is that gonna go with the potatoes? I'm, I can only assume. 
So. Well, I'm interested. This is new for me. I'm not sure what. Oh, that's the label. <laughs> Missy says not enough sour cream. Okay, I got that. <laughs> Crispy35 says, I know our army is small, but we got this. Never despise meager beginnings. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> right. Okay. So I got that. I'm going to add the garlic that we mixed. Oh man, it's really coming together now. We're on a roll now, guys. How many are here? Two. All right. Uh, whatever, 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 whatever. Listen, the first night we did this, it was literally us and our kids. We have adult kids, and it was literally just us. And last night, because our kids love us, when our daughter was at work at her coffee shop, she put his live up so everybody could join in. Okay. Oh, so, Missy uses blue plate mayo. I like blue plate as well, but I am from the the the, the Carolina. No, it's Dukes. Dukes. It's Dukes. It's Dukes it's mayo. Dukes. Blue plate is the second best, but it's gotta be Dukes. Oh, we're gonna add the the potatoes to the pot with the sour cream, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna smash mm -hmm. until smooth. There you go. We have a smasher, right? Mm -hmm. We have a smasher? It should be in one of those things. Is that what this is? That's a smasher. Hey, that's a potato smasher, guys. Look at that. Uh, Judy, uh, I'm only going to guess this is Judy from work. Dukes only, please. Yes. Ooh. There we go. Okay, so now that's all <laughs> melted. Uh, Ooh, so Kelsey says she's here to support her favorite weirdo. Um, mm -hmm. He's taking notes, Kelsey. Taking notes. Here we go. I'm going to add the potatoes. Ah, Gary uses Dukes too. Oh, I like, uh, yes, I like lumps in my potatoes too. Wow. <laughs> Missy says no Dukey mayo. <laughs> Holy cow, this is smelling. I love Dukes. I'm a Dukes fan. This is smelling. But now, to tell you who he is, really before good. he met me, he only did Miracle Whip. Oh, oh sandwich come on, isn't a sandwich. Take, 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 take the brunt, take the fight. Sandwich isn't a sandwich without mm -hmm. Miracle Whip. Okay, so I've got my potatoes. Oh, so yes, I've got my potatoes, potatoes. <laughs> salt and pepper. I need to add salt and pepper. Oh, Hellman's then Dukes. No, no, no. Where are you from? <laughs> How dare you? Oh, good God, that's even worse. That's what Missy said. <laughs> okay. So, here in the south, we're, we're in a small town just west of Myrtle Beach. Conway is our town. Conway, and we use Duke's Mayo, and apparently there's no other sugar than Dixie Crystal. No, no, because when I couldn't get it when I was in Mississippi, I was upset because Dixie Crystals is so fine, you don't have to do a whole lot of mixing. Dixie Crystals. Because Crazy you, Cat Lady is in Florida. You like your sugar like you like your mint. All right. Fine. I don't, I'm just going to say, where is this going to go? I'm scared. Fine. Uh, Karen, homemade is best, but who's got time? Listen, I have a son-in-law that makes his own mayonnaise. We were here one day, and I made, um, barbecue, no, um, buffalo cauliflower. And I, I went to the refrigerator, and we'd had friends over the night before, and there was no ranch. So, he just walks in the kitchen, and he's like, okay. And he just whipped up ranch dressing from nothing. Karen wants, wants to know what's all on potatoes. So I've got the um, the butter, garlic, sour cream, salt, and pepper. That's it. It smells really good. It smells good. So I'm smashing them right now. I just Instead, feel like they should be creamier. You want them creamier? We're going to have to add something to them then. Yeah. Uh, Can we add more butter? or? Mm -hmm. I can add a little bit more yeah, butter. Maybe, maybe like a tablespoon of that Duke's. <laughs> No, no. Okay, so I can add some um, the uh, butter sauce or the potato sauce. Okay, maybe. Well, see, I use, I'll use heavy cream in my potatoes. I said the same thing, add mayo, and he said no. I he's shouldn't be adding directions. anything. He's I shouldn't be adding anything. He's following directions, but I like my potatoes to look a certain way. Okay, here we go. 
Oh, that looks good. Okay, so we got our potatoes. Uh, Brussels sprouts are almost done. Um, beef, melt a tablespoon of butter in the same pan over medium heat, add the minced shallot, stir in the stock. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Okay, so here we go. Hey Google, stop. So we got our meat, oh, that looks so good. All right, so add a tablespoon of right. butter. Yeah, I agree, the taters look a tad dry. You need to add some mayo. Um, Karen wants to know what you put in sprouts. The sprouts was just oil and salt and pepper. Sprouts were just oil, salt and pepper, but there's uh, some stuff that we're gonna be putting on it. Oh, look at that. That look good. So right now we're making our sauce. Man, there's so A much. little milk, yeah. You know what, I don't even think we have milk. There's so much flavor going, or smells going on in here. So I need to do the butter. We're gonna add the minced shallot. So I got the minced shallot there. We're gonna add the stock concentrate, which is this right here, stock concentrate. The jam vinegar. Ooh. We do have more sour cream in the fridge, just saying. Uh, from the bed. Remaining minced rosemary. Uh, just trying to help you out there. There we go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, Chris says, all I see now is a silicone coma and need one. Okay, not gonna lie, big lots. I don't know if you have a big lots where you are, but we found a big lots. So we're going to transfer the uh, Brussels sprouts. We're transferring the Brussels sprouts to our bowl with the panko. Hmm. Ooh, I need to grab my... I almost grabbed that hot pan. <laughs> <laughs> that you yell at me for all the time doing that? I almost. Looks amazing, Karen says. Oh. I almost burned. Oh, those look really good. My. Oh, I just love Brussels sprouts. Hand. Okay, so explain to me this, honey. How come you will eat Brussels sprouts, but not cabbage? I eat cabbage. When? We just had it the other night. Cooked? I don't know. It was, uh, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm. Look at this. Look at that. Y'all see that? <laughs> no, he doesn't know if he's coming or going. This is true. <laughs> Ohio River Girls got you. She says you're doing an awesome job. Fried cabbage is amazing. Chris, I like cabbage Fried steaks. Cabbage. I like cabbage mm. steaks. I like to slice it, put it in there with some olive oil, salt, pepper, okay. garlic. Oh, yum. I love cabbage. So now, I got that. I'm gonna add my jam. Mmm. Yeah, that's you know. Balsamic. I don't even know where I got that idea from. Vinegar. <laughs> and can she slow down just a little bit? I'm trying to write this all down. Beef stock. So now I'm just getting our sauce. Prepare oh, that goes over the top. Karen, I've not mm. had cabbage noodles. That's interesting. Cabbage noodles. Mm. Lots of butter. Mm. Mm. Okay. We're going to mix this up. Yes, that sounds amazing, Missy. This goes over the top. It looks like what he's doing is stressful, so I'm trying not to bother him right now. Woo! That smells amazing. I will put a little bit more sour cream in your mess. I didn't have any milk, but I did have sour cream. It's supposed to be creamy. I mean, I know I'm not a chef. And these people that come on these fields are chefs. I'm not a chef know, either. You're making me deviate from my... I know my, what I like. My directions here. No, we, I've never made my own sour cream. Mm -hmm. Never. No. 
Oh, this is that is so stinking good. George, you are not getting any. So stinking good. Okay. Jam, vinegar, what else? So jam, the vinegar. He's scared of using the mayo. Yes, he is. <laughs> the, we've got the um, balsamic vinegar that we added. Holy cow. Mm. I'm ready to plate. So one of the things that we do like about these different meal plans is that you can get these recipes online and I have shared them probably, you know, they wouldn't like that so much, but I've done that. <laughs> All right, let me get this sliced up for your plate. Man, it smells amazing. It smells. He said he was ready to plate. Yes, that's amazing. what he said. It does Amazing. smell good. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now. Oh, crispy 35. Cabbage steaks are happening now at some point. Thanks for the idea. Yep. Against the grain. Um, mm -hmm. Is that what I did? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I don't think I was paying attention. Okay. Check this out. Check this out. Mm, I'm so excited. That looks really good. I know that their pictures are staged. Um, mm -hmm. I got that. <laughs> I know their pictures are staged, but you know what? He has to make it look like the picture as close as he can. You like your meat done? There's just a hair, a bit of pink in that. I'm okay with some pink. Yep. But I'm gonna. Crispy 35 says, looks delish. Great job, Jerry. And Here we wife. Go. wife is Jennifer. Here we go. Oh my word. Would you look at this? Would you mm -hmm. look? Oh my goodness, it smells good. That, But I love vinegar. And that's all I'm smelling right now is the vinegar. Oh, guys. Mm. Picture? Mm. Right, okay. Get, get, get two forks. We're both going to Picture? Try. Look at mine. <laughs> Picture? Look at mine. Yes. Mm, Look there. at that. Oh. Oh, that's really good. Mm, that's mine. I got it. It's mine. Mm. Oh, that's really good. Mm. Oh. Mm. This is a favorite meal of mine now. Guys. <laughs> Hello Fresh did it again. <laughs> Man, you like this one? The picture wins. Well, the picture may win, but the food is good. Mint julep in the beginning. Balsamic <laughs> and fig beef tenderloin. Crispy 35 says, I keep seeing that one lid on your wall and reminds me of the Target logo. <laughs> You're right. Guys, thank you so much for hanging in there for this amazing meal. It's great. No, they have not sent us anything for free. We nope. are not, we're not plugging any in particular thing. We're not. The only reason why I'm doing these videos and I post them on my YouTube is because they're easy. I, you know, I'm not a cook. I'm not a chef. I follow directions and I just throw them together and, and you know, I want to share this experience with you guys. So mm -hmm. I appreciate you hanging in there. Mm -hmm. Bam. Y'all go have a good night. Mm -hmm. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.